Hey everyone, welcome to our sixth Java app tutorial. In the last tutorial, we were learning how to use threads in Java, and we had to stop right here. We were about to uh, create our run method. Run method is very important if you want to use threads. You have to have run method when you implement runnable. Okay, now I'm going to start. So first of all, I want to I want to tell we get a a loop and here until we tell it up. Running and and now uh, um, we have to take the the time and how we're gonna do that? We're going to have a string which we're gonna give it time and we will say date stop get hours first and then. And then get date dot get minutes, and then um, we're going to get seconds. Okay. So now we can put that time to our text field. The name of the text field was SD. So I'm going to say that text field. And set text and this is going to be time here. And now we're going to have a try catch. That's the, the most important uh, part of or the reason for using threads. So first of all we will say to our which is to a to sleep for hundred listen. And then, if there is uh, something wrong, um, so this drop that exception e that will tell us. It will tell us there's a mistake. I will say print ln. So it's going to be e. Now we are done here. Um, we uh, programmed our applet, so now we can run it. What I'm going to save it and click that green button. And as you can see, we're able to see the time and every second the applet is up. Every second itself, and we are seeing seconds here. Okay. And I hope you like this um, video and in the next tutorial I will start Java game programming and please uh, subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions I will be very happy to answer your questions. I'll see you next time. Bye.